Hour of the Knife was released in 1994 for levels 4 to 6, written by Bruce Nesmith and Lisa Smedden, with art by Arnie Sweckle and a cover by John and Laura Leckley. It is 62 pages and comes with a full-size poster map. The adventure takes place in Partyon, which is Victoria, London, and the adventure is a take on Jack the Ripper. Partyon was touched upon in the Ravenloft corset, but was then known as Zeresia. After the Grand Conjunction, the land of Zeresia disappeared, but the city of Partyon remained. The Dark Lord of the Domain is Soto, who is a doppelganger, and leads a clan of doppelgangers. Soto is immortal thanks to a magical knife called the Fang of Nosferatu. Every 13 years, Soto has to commit a series of murders with the knife in order to stay immortal. The knife draws the pain of the victims into it and transfers it to Soto. That's, that's how he gains his immortality. Soto, however, has a problem. His curse is that he cannot hold the same form for more than a few seconds, and that anybody he kills with his hands, he unwittingly restores to life. Hence, he had the knife made to enjoy the killings, but he cannot weld it due to his instability. Therefore, he has to have one of his doppelganger servants do the killings for him and then transfer the power to him after all the killings are done. This time, however, Soto chose poorly. He had Sir Edmund Bloodsworth, one of his best doppelgangers, do the killings, but Bloodsworth has betrayed Soto and, with the help of a pack of jackal wares, plans on taking the power for himself. The adventure starts with the hero stumbling on the crime scene of the first murder and becoming involved trying to solve the mystery. The adventure builds on paranoia and tension, so while trying to stop the murders over a series of days, while fear builds within the city, the players one by one will be killed and replaced with doppelgangers. Eventually all the players will be killed, but they will be brought back to life by Soto, who takes the heroes who tasks the heroes with killing Bloodsworth and returning the knife to him. In exchange, Soto will lead the heroes to a portal out of Ravenloft. I do have two problems with Hour of the Knife. First, the jack wares They seem miscast, and I'm not sure why they're here. I just don't get what they're supposed to be. They just don't fit Victorian London. Maybe I'm missing something. The second is the portal home hook. I'm not a big fan of it, and the heroes have no reason to trust Soto, and it still leaves him and his killing sprees and all the crimes he's committed unresolved that the heroes just take the portal home. That aside, I found Hour of the Knife to be a fantastic adventure. It details the domain and Dark Lord of Partyon, which was very much needed. The Victorian London domain and the Jack the Ripper style killings were tailor-made for Ravenloft. And to think, this started out as a tournament module. Then there are the doppelgangers. They add a tension to the adventure that is palatable. <clears throat> you never know who you can trust, and nobody is ever who they seem. Soto is a creepy dark lord with his ever-changing form, and everything about it just reminds me of John Carpenter's The Thing, which is one of the greatest movies of all time, and surely makes for some good horror. As you can see, I highly recommend Hour of the Knife. It does require a little work for the DM having to keep up with who's who and which doppelgangers have been killed, but players will remember this adventure for a long time, and it even gets a sequel. This is a must-buy, which you will not regret. A madman stalks the fog-shrouded streets of Paridon, killing with gruesome precision and always at midnight. A party of brave adventurers witnessed the most recent of these brutal murders. Now that they've seen the killer's face, they're sure to be his next targets. Who can be trusted in the city, where the residents are not what they appear to be? Those who dare to track the killer will find strange allies, and even stranger enemies. The adventurers must investigate the ancient mystery behind the murders that take place when the clock strikes the hour of the knife. This 64-page adventure includes a full-color poster-sized map of Partyon. The adventure is based on a popular RPGA network tournament by Bruce Nesmith.